Oh man, look who we have here, man. Three years later, mm-hmm. you know, Jacksonville representer, uh, uh, platinum selling too. Let me add that in there. Platinum selling artist. You know it. Spot him, got him, man. How you doing? I've been doing good. I've been doing good. Man, things have changed, man. I, I'm loving what I'm seeing, man. You smiling more. I remember when you used to didn't smile. <laughs> You know, I remember when you didn't have a jewelry. I know you, you know, this is really all you, I remember you talking about this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to dream about all this, I swear to God. Man, it, it, it's a blessing, man. Uh, but shit, before we get to that, before we get to the success, let's get to what everybody's talking about right now. My nigga, are you on the run? Like, are you on it? Nah, 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 I was, but but it was, it was some little shit. They falsely accused me of, so you know, they had to, they had to just miss that. So it wasn't really nothing crazy. But they had me all over the news and all everywhere, like for six days straight, just blasting my name everywhere. I'm like, man. <laughs> so crazy. they were they were accusing you of a murder in Dallas last year. Yeah. And they picked up footage of you just, you know, uh, a preview of a record, and you said some things in the record. Yeah, they they tried they tried to say my little thriller video said I said his name, but I don't even, I don't know that man. And you can listen to it, I ain't say nothing. So they went and listened to the whole thing, and like I don't know, they were just falsely accusing me, trying to I don't know, it was just crazy. So how did they get in contact with you? Was it a phone call? They pulled up on you or what? Nah, they really they contacted my lawyer because I already had another case. So my lawyer, she like. Man, you real famous. You got news reporters from Indiana or India, like calling and trying to get information and stuff. Then next thing you know, I see I got a warrant for something in Texas. I'm like, man. So my lawyer, she calling him. She writing reports up, man. We finna sue him because going crazy. Okay, like, so yeah. it's a so it's a real lawsuit going on for that situation for them trying to paint you as a killer. Yeah, it's some little it's a little something I got going on. So when you first seen that, because I seen it when it aired, like a lot of, my, you know, my people, my I think my dad called me about it. He was like, yo, uh, Spot Him Got Him's on the news. So he sent me the situation and uh, I didn't want to post it because, you know, but I, then I seen everybody else post it, me and you, we were talking in the DM. Yeah. So w- when you first saw it, what was going through your head? Like. I'm like, damn. I'm like, man, why they, what I do, what I did, they, they mess with me. I'm just like, then I called my lawyer. Well, she called me, she called me like, she, she already called me like three times before I woke up. So I'm like, then I called her back. I'm like, how you doing? She telling me, I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is, this is a problem. I'm like, we gotta handle this. She like, okay, okay, yeah, you already know. She telling me, she like, they crazy. Man. Oh uh, man, yeah, because you you know you were all over social media and people tried to make jokes about it and spot them, got them, <laughs> finally got them. You know what I'm saying? They crazy. They're supposed to stop playing with me, man. What is? Because I know your mom. Your mom's real crazy. Uh, yeah. When she seen that, what what did she say? She called me. I'm talking. About, I'm on three way with her and my lawyer. <laughs> she like, man. I'm like, no. Nah. I'm like, no. Nah. I was like, nah. So she was like, yeah, we gotta clear this up ASAP. Yeah. Cause it seemed like they didn't know what the fuck was going on. They were just like, um, they were doing investigating and Yeah. They they, they it, it was just like they pinned you on something with no real evidence. It was really on some he say, she say, like, then that's they just going off based what they heard. But they can't they don't got no evidence. Like, I'm I haven't been to Texas in so long. In years, so yeah, I don't even think you were in Texas in 2020. No, I think more of like 19. Yeah, we're like 19. Okay, so so let's get back to the beginning because everybody knows you for who you are today. But I remember you back in 2018 with like two, three thousand followers. You know, and I believe we 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 kind of like seen you on Facebook because you were more on Facebook before Instagram, right? Yeah, before I just found out about. Instagram, I was on Facebook, like doing my little thing, doing numbers and stuff like that. I'm a little freestyles. Right, because you were doing numbers when I when I DM'd you that day. Like you was already that guy in your area. Yeah, I was I was already like doing a little numbers, but it was it was like it was a little like little cool shit. Right. 
and you were doing the fast freestyles because in Florida, the fast shit is already a thing, but you kind of were the first one to really like bring that shit to like the internet as far as like previewing music and freestyles and things like that. Yeah, because I'm from Duval, so I'm like, I listen to a lot of Miami music, so I'm like, yeah, now I five, four, fast music. I'm like, yeah, I just, I just like fast music. So I'm like, what if I speed my freestyles and I just start like going crazy? After that, I took off. Like, I made that the trend. Ain't nobody, ain't keep nobody doing it. I'm like, yeah, after that, like everybody was doing it. I'm like, oh yeah, it's still a wave. I went crazy. Yeah. Cause that's what caught my attention. I'm like, yo, who the fuck is this nigga? And then you already got the image for real. So, yeah. so before the, before, you know, I even like got in contact with you, like, what were you doing throughout the day? Like, what were you in school? Were you, were you hustling? What was spot them got them doing before even the say cheese situation? Everything. Man, I was in the trenches still, standing with my mama going crazy, like, just doing crazy stuff. Stupid shit. I was in the street, road running, recording in the, inside the spot. We had a studio in the spot, so we'd go to record every day. Like in. I remember going to Jacksonville, and, and you know, I went to your crib, and um, you know, I met your family. And when I when I gotta say, like, your mom is the most gutter mom, like really about that hood street shit. Yeah, that's my baby, and I, dog. That's my dog. Man, I, I don't want to say too much shit that I seen in the crib because I don't want to incriminate nobody. <laughs> but it was, it, it was, it was cracking. It was, man, it was you big. know, man, it's real life over here. <laughs> like man, real life. And, and when when I came to your crib that day, I was really like, okay, whatever this kid's rapping about is real. Because when I came in that situation, I was like, you know, it, it was it was a real situation. And you know, it's just like it's the environment for so niggas. Just that's. That's how we live it, so. mm. Yeah. How it gotta be. And, and what part of Jacksonville did you grow up from? Is that South? Nah, it's the West Side, Lackawanna. Mid okay. Delta. Okay, because I know Jacksonville's real spread out. Yeah. Okay. And did you did you even graduate? Nah, I dropped out two grade. I wish I would have graduated, okay. but I dropped out two grade. I'm gonna get my, I'm, I'm gonna get my GED though. Okay, you gonna go back and get your GED? Yeah, I'm gonna get my GED. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get that clear. What, what was the reason for you dropping out in tenth grade? Um, it was just like really, I was just getting kicked out of every school I was going to. Like, when nothing working. Like, even like my last school, I had did like five months and like some days in jail. I was already going to alternative school, but I, I had like gun charges and shit like that. So she, I tried to go back to school. They say they don't even want me on, they say I can't even go to their school no more. So they like kicked me out. After that, I stopped going to school. So I was just like, fuck okay. it. Okay. And have you ever worked a nine to five before or was this all on the streets? No, nah, it was just all, I never had a job. Like I never, I had, I, I watched cars like one, one or two, three times. When I was like 15, but it was some crazy shit happening. Niggas made me quit my job. <laughs> I was yeah, what, what, hap you, what, what happened when you was washing cars? I was still like, like some niggas hadn't caught me. They tried to get at me when I'm, when I'm trying to work. So I'm like, man, I had to quit. Cause I'm all, I was still doing bad. So I'm 15, so. So wait, crazy. wait, you're washing cars at 15 and some of y'all. But I only, only, I only did it. I only. That was like my third day doing it though. Like my third time doing it. Yeah, so they pull up. They pull up on me. I'm like, man, drop the window. Just look at me. I'm like, man, I'm all in the world. So they part. So they oh, part and they waiting on me to like get off work. So I'm, I'm calling my people like, yeah, come, come get me. Like, I'm like, yeah, come on. Like, I'm, I'm in this situation right now. This is crazy. So after that, I was like, I ain't never, like, after that, I got right, I ain't never, like, I'm like nah, fuck that. So at 15, Spot him, got him, was spotted <laughs> by his own ops <laughs> while washing cars. I swear to God. I was on Dunn, Dunn Avenue, man. If you from Duval, you know about Dunn. So what was the reason for having ops so young? Like, you know, you were only 15. What was the reasons for the differences, you know, at such a young age? 
Mm, I don't know. Because you weren't really rapping then, right? Yeah, but not not really, not really. But yeah, but I wasn't really like I was just doing little freestyles still. I wasn't really rapping, but I still had a little buzz and like you feel me? People knew me from me being bad and doing bad shit all around. So they just like, oh yeah, that's that bad ass shit. So so were you beefing with these dudes over hoes? Is it money? It was Is just part of it was cra- it was crazy shit. Then I was like young, like stupid shit. Niggas from school, all type of stuff, shit like that. But it was like niggas really like you feel me? Jits Duval thirteen, they care tougher than their parents. So like it's real like it ain't no right. niggas fourteen. You would think he twenty one, he big as hell. Somebody with a chop. Real life. Like yeah, a lot of people, you know, the, the Duval rap scene is kind of new, but a lot of people don't know it been that shit in Duval kind of been going on for a long time. Yeah, it's been going on. It's just a lot of people don't got fame. So, you know, once people get fame, it's, it's go media, like go social media, hit the internet. And then I don't everybody get involved. And everybody set their opinion, don't know what be going on for real. Like, it'd be crazy. Now time goes by. Um, you release music. You release street gossip. You release um, my legacy. You release all these dope street records. You get a buzz. It's going crazy. Um, you gain a fan base, and then one day COVID comes, and you go to the studio to record beatbox. Yeah. Are you freestyling this record? Is it written down? How do you come up with beatbox? Nah, freestyle. I was at I was in Miami, Florida. I was at uh, the studio called Bay Eight. Okay. So it was like it was like me, Fulio, Raw Young, and like Z Dog. Just like me and all my brothers. We in there. We just lit. It was just like good energy. Everybody in there had energy that day. And then my dog Beto, he made beats and shit. So he was like, uh, he was like, I got this hard ass producer. I got these hard ass beats for you. I got I got some hard shit. So he sent me the beat. I'm like, oh yeah, he played it. He was like, it's his homeboy shit. So I'm like, yeah, we finna go crazy. So I, I loaded it up. I hopped in that bit. I just started freestyling. Went crazy. And you, and you, and you came out with that. Like, I went you crazy. the Holy Ghost going crazy. I swear to God. And, and Fulio was in the, the studio session? Yeah. Did he try to get on it, or they was just letting you do your thing? Nah, everybody was vibing. It was just because we was just like taking turns recording. Like everybody was just vibing, and like, it was just like everybody was lit. We would record some songs together, then we like make dolo songs. Are you knowing this the one, or is this another record that you record? Nah, once I recorded it, like once you hear a hit, you know a hit. So like once you hear music, and like you know music. You'll be like, yeah. So I'm like, damn, they be bit catchy as fuck. They be bit turnt. I'm like, they be bit lit. I'm feeling go crazy. So every time I play it somewhere, they be like, damn, when this, when this come out, this ain't drop. I'm like, nah, nah. So shit, I just shot a video that I been crazy. You know, because I did an interview with Vlad, and he tried to, well, he tried to make it seem like TikTok broke the record and I was like no the record from when I was hearing the record was already in Orlando and Jacksonville yeah. in the streets before it hit TikTok yeah it was already out I was stuck at like 8 million cause I was doing a meal a month so it was, it was like cause I, I dropped that song like 9 months almost 8 months almost to a year before it blew up cause it was already out so yeah I was getting a meal a month it just, once that TikTok came out, it just blew it up. It went crazy. And once I did the remix of Pooh Shiesty, that's what really, like, turned it up and went crazy. And then Gilly the Kid, everybody just started going crazy. That's what really turned it up. Right. Shout out to Gilly. So, before Pooh Shiesty got on it, you were stuck between, like, 8 or 10 million. Yeah, I was stuck at, like, 8 million. Okay. And that's what I was trying to tell Vlad because, and shout out to Junebug too. I don't want to. Hey, you know, shout out, shout out to all them boys. Because he, to, to be real, he was promoting the record more than you. Yeah, he was a, he was a big part of, big part of the record. Like, he did his shit. You know, a lot of people felt like you didn't show him love. It was kind of like you were shunning him because you didn't want him to really take credit for breaking the song. Is that true? 
Nah, nah, he really, he, he got lit. Like, he went, he went crazy. Like, everybody know I had my boy at BT and all. Like, he know his, his, his love. Everything genuine. Like, you feel me? Right. We both helped, we both helped each other. Like, we worked together. So the song is going crazy. And, like, what's going through your mind? Because I'm seeing the record go crazy. And it's like, I'm, the whole time I'm thinking, like, yo, this is the shit spot him got him was asking for the yeah. last three years. Yeah, I'm like, man, this 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 really happening. Like, it's going crazy. Everywhere I go, I'm hearing it. I'm talking about people in China doing it. I'm like, oh yeah, they going crazy. Everybody and all these remixes came out. I'm like, oh yeah, they eating it up. They going crazy. Yeah. How's your mom responding to it? Because I know your mom's your biggest fan. She was like, oh yeah, you got you one. You going stupid. I'm like, oh yeah, it was lit. <laughs> You know, as time, well, it's double platinum, right? Right now, right? Yeah, I think. Okay. Three, almost three. Yeah, it's about to go triple platinum. Um, And then you keep coming out with these remixes. The Baby Did It Off Strength, um, Polo G, uh, Young Ma. So many people, you know, did did the remix. It was like a trend at the time. You know, how do you feel about a lot of all these other artists getting on your record? I was just shit. I was blessed shit. I was like, yeah. Cause it was, it's way bigger artists going crazy. Like, look, Yachty, everybody was doing the baby, everybody doing this shit. I'm like, oh yeah, they're going crazy. I'm like, I'm loving it. It's going stupid. Yeah. You know, because a while it was like, it was so many remixes and things like that. It's like on your Spotify, when people look up your name, it's only beatbox. So now as time goes by, People look at you as a one hit wonder. They like to say that a lot. Do you feel like you're under pressure right now to come out with something big? No, nah, I just be vibing because I'm already knowing. Like that's why you just gotta stay in the lab and work. I got plenty. I got like I got motion. Like I got so so many records that's gonna come out. Gonna go crazy. It just like take time. Sometimes yeah. take time. Shortly after Beatbox, you released a record called uh, No TikTok. Was that like a uh, Letting people know, like, yo, I'm not one of them TikTok dudes. Yeah, yeah, I'm not no TikTok ass nigga. Like, I do not be on TikTok. I don't be on that shit. It's cool though. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I fuck with Chiller though, but I don't really. I just do my little, do my little music video and I get out of it. Like, ain't really man. You know, cause, cause I, I know you was like, cause you don't like being told what to do. So it's like. You you like to go if somebody say go left you're gonna make a right to prove a point. It, it, is is that one of them things with the TikTok shit? Because I know you don't like being boxed in as a TikTok rapper. Yeah. Nah, I just be like, I don't know. You know, everybody, everybody, they gonna say they got different opinions. So it's like, I don't really be tripping. Okay. Now you have another song that went viral again on TikTok, and it's not, <clears throat> it's not out yet. Um, you know, management been begging for you to drop it. You haven't released it. The fans have been begging for you to drop it. Um, you know, wh what's the hold up on that? I don't know, really. <laughs> now nah, I'm finna drop it though. It's already, it's really already done. It's on complete. I just ain't dropped it yet. I'm but don't you, but don't you feel like it's too late because the trend is kind of already at the, the yeah. At the end. But I still feel like they ain't heard it yet, so. It's still like, why not? Why not put okay. it out? And in this record, I believe you mentioned Tuka, right? Yeah. And certain people in Chicago were upset about it because they felt like you were dissing um, Tuka. Yeah, that's a strand in Florida, man. We say Tuka, Tuka, that's gas. It was a point in time King Yellow spoke out about it and, you know, y'all had y'all back and forth. And a lot of people in Florida were like, nah, that's what we call weed. Now I would say everybody that know they from Florida they already knowing like so we ain't we ain't tripping on that. Yeah. Do you feel like that's what made the the record kind of take off? People were kind of interested on that that snippet on YouTube. Uh, not really, cause everybody know me. They know I'm from Florida, so they knowing like I'm not talking about them niggas over there, cause I don't know them niggas. But some people, yeah, they like, oh, he's talking about ooh, ooh, this, that, and the third. Not knowing, they just say stupid shit because they don't. Some people just stupid as fuck. Right. Now, beatbox is rolling. It's moving. You're getting booked for shows. You got 
Hella promoters upset with you because you're missing shows. You missed well over 10 shows. Hell yeah. I missed out on cheese. But it was like, it was just, I had crazy shit going on. It wasn't like me missing it on purpose. Like most of them promoters, I done hit them back and like told them. But most of them, like, you feel me? You know, niggas gonna feel, feel how they feel. So it's not, you can't change, you can't change nobody. Emotions, like, you can't tell them how to feel about the situation. So it's just like, it is what it is. They either understand or they don't understand. What's the reason of you missing these shows? Are, are you, you know, are you fucking a bitch? Are you, uh, are nah, you nah, nah, What's ain't, going ain't on? nothing like that. It's like, people not on time. Like, people not ready. I'm not getting on no flight, you feel me, by myself. So it's like, my brothers would be doing some other shit, like, you feel me? It's just like, when shit not going right, you can't force it, so it was just like shit going on. Nigga have a million things going on. But, but you do know missing shows, it, it can kind of hurt you for later business. Because let's say you come up with another hit and they want to book you again, yeah. they're going to think about the time before. Yeah, but I don't, I don't really be tripping, like, you feel me? I'm not a nigga that I be tripping on that, as long as my music sells. And I know that I'm gonna come out with music that sell and go crazy and do numbers and like I'm cool. They don't gotta book me. Somebody will book me. You feel me? But the show money is how most artists make they. Yeah, it's show money and records. That's like the main main thing. Show money, record streams. That's what you get paid off. So yeah. Okay, and. I can only imagine you missed out on so much money on them shows. Yeah, La Cheese, La Cheese. I Wait, went like tripping on because like it was like, like really. Oh, no, no, no. I say like almost like one something. So over 100,000. Yeah, like 100,000. Because I'm hearing you missing out on festivals. You missed like five festivals. I'm like, what's what's really going on? No, 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 no. I don't know about that. I think I know about one, but I don't know about five festivals. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay, okay. So, are you making up the shows or what? Because you got a lot of promoters who were still upset with you. Yeah, I'm already knowing. But, like, some are, some are cool, but the niggas that's being dicks and being ass and fuck them. Like, they already know, like, it is what it is, what it is. So, you feel like it's how they come at you? Yeah, like, you feel me? Most people don't understand, like, we can set it, we can reschedule, like, set a different date. Some other shit. But, you know, people feel how they want to care. Most definitely. Now, you have a teddy bear on your forehead. Yeah. That's a tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> it's trying to tattoo, you know. What does that represent? Is it, like, crazy shit? Is this something only that you that only you know? Yeah, really. Me and gang ain't really like it. Just teddy bear, red. Yeah. Okay. It's my personal, and my personal teddy bear. Your personal teddy bear? Yeah, you know it. <laughs> What's this right here? Oh, this is my uncle name Rashad. He did. Okay. And this, what's this right here? It's a bird. Okay, what's the bird represent? Like my third eye. I just feel like I got I got good vision. Like you feel me? I'm on point. I'm always seeing like I'm like a bird. Okay. So the teddy bear is this something that only you and your homies really really know what's going on? Do they have teddy bear tattoos as well? Nah. But we, like, couple of us got the bird, though. Okay. When your mom first seen that, what what did she say? She, like, she was just like, uh. Like, my mama, she don't really, she, she'll say something, and she'll be like, it's nice, though, as long as it's nice. Like, you feel me? She always compliment me at the end. I be like, okay, okay. It's cool. When you go out in public, do people stare at you? Yeah. Not really, but yeah. First, you know they look at me here first quarter, like that's the first thing they look at. Yeah. Um. Do you plan on getting any anything else? Nah, no, nah, no, nah, nah. I'm, I'm done. I ain't touching my baby no more. Yeah. You know the biggest thing on the internet with you is people don't people think it's your. I, well, people really gravitate to you because of the way you look. You know they say you look like a 
a grown <laughs> baby and yeah, I got a baby <laughs> face, man. I ain't gonna lie, I stay trendy. Like, I'ma stay hot. Like you feel me? I stay trendy. That's the only thing about it. I'ma stay trendy. That's good though. Like I just you feel me? I eat it up. Cause it's good. Every every publicity is good publicity. So like it's cool. Okay, so that don't get to you when people say you look a certain way? Nah, I just be like, damn, yeah, they be fucking me up. Cause, and like, the media is undefeated. Like, you can't beat the media. Like, they crazy. They go crazy when they go. Man. So, you know, the Jacksonville rap scene right now it, it, is, is, is really, really lit, man. There's so many of y'all. I don't even want to name names because there's so many people and I don't want to forget nobody. But all y'all are doing y'all thing. Um, I mean, of course, on you know social media, you see a lot of the the beef that goes on. Um, you know, I've seen you and I know you and Fulio, y'all are tight, right? Yeah. Okay, and then you know, I know you and Un Young and Ace, y'all kind of like um, y'all often go back and forth subliminally, but um, it's crazy because when I used to be with you a lot, you never really spoke down on any Jacksonville rapper. You was always doing you. Where did this come from? Like it's it's been that I just, I just don't know you feel me. I just say to myself, I'm I'm not the type of nigga that just go around oh ooh, 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 unless unless somebody just keep playing their songs or like just doing crazy look crazy and I let them know like you feel me. Oh I don't you feel me. I stay in my lane. I don't, I don't fuck with them boys. So they already be known. Yeah. Other than you know, that, I see it now. I'm like. I'm like, damn, Spot him got him never used to like he never you never would talk down on any Jacksonville rapper. Yeah, I still and don't like that. It's just like, you know, people say shit, you can't let everything slide. I still be like, I still I barely, I barely, I barely this. I barely do this song. Like, you feel me? I barely do that. Cause I be worried about me. I be worried about me. I'm worried about making hit. I'm not worried about no. Feel me? It be cool and all, but it ain't fuck that shit. It's no real money in this song for real. Yeah, like a this song can't go platinum. That's one thing, like this song can't go platinum. They just do good numbers. You'll get a little money out them bitches, but as you tool money, it ain't shit. Yeah. Uh so you and Young and Ace are from y'all are from the same part of town, right? Yeah, but different side. Okay, is that where it stemmed from, being from the opposite side, or do you know him on a personal level? Nah, I don't know him at all. I don't know him at all. I just know a couple of his brothers. Okay. So you don't know him at all. Where does the beef stem from? If you don't, y'all don't even know each other personally. Because I know his brother. Okay. It's like, it's, it's, it's real street shit. The shit been going on before all of us got fame. It just like escalated once everybody got fans and evolved and elevated. So. Is this crazy that all y'all got money now? All y'all are doing y'all thing. Y'all fucking bitches. Y'all doing shows. Y'all lit. Y'all got the clout. Why does it? Why can't everybody just do their thing and it just be that? Cause like this, the world is not like that. Like everybody not the world. Like it's crazy as that one. This shit, everybody don't work together no more. It's beef, beef, beef. Like. It's just the culture now. Niggas want to be just to do it. It'd be cool to fit in. Oh, uh, shit. A nigga, be, a nigga probably be done and smoke this nephew. And his brother got to go smoke his friend. You feel me? Shit like that. Like his real life. You know? Everybody, don't, a, everybody just don't forgive. Cycle. Everybody just don't forgive people. Yeah. It, it, it's a cycle, man. Uh, You know, Fulio, y'all are from the same part of town or not? Nah? Nah, I was from a different side. Okay, how'd you meet Fulio? Cause I'm close to his little cousin, Kenny. I'm a new. Okay, you know Fulio is doing this thing right now too. Yeah, yeah, he's doing this shit. Yeah. Uh man, it's 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 so many. Uh, the Jacksonville rap scene is is definitely uh doing their thing. Do you feel like Fulio opened doors for y'all? Like, do you feel like he was the the new, he was the first, like, young rapper to really put on for what's going on now? Mm, I feel like both of us, but, like, before before me, yeah, he was, Fulio been rapping, you feel me? He, he, he one of the reasons, like, 
why I started rap because he was going crazy, like, you feel me? And he fought with my big cousin that passed away, Jonathan. Mm. His name Dirt. So, like, I'm already, I'm looking, I'm like, oh, them boys going crazy. And I'm around my uncles, they already in the studio. So, I'm like, yeah, I want to be a rapper. Mm. Okay. Now, while Beatbox was going up last year, you had, uh, it was a situation that took place on social media. Duval promo posted it. It was everywhere. Rappers posted it. It yeah. was a situation from like five, six years ago. Um, you know, I think it has something to do with Wire Mookie. I'm not sure. Um, you know, it's we're doing the interview. This is one of your first video interviews. You know, if you want to speak on it, we can. You know, because I feel like people waited for you to get to a certain level to put out a situation. And I feel like paperwork doesn't always mean just because you make a statement doesn't mean you're snitching yeah it's like it's like it, i swear to god it's, it's some whole movie shit because i've been had a little fame so if i was a rat it would have been out paperwork don't lie so how 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 the fuck it take two years for paperwork to appear out of nowhere and then manage i mean mookie manager he's a whole police officer right now so like shit was just crazy like Feel me? It's a movie shit. Like you were just him and him and Slugger manager. Now you're a police officer. So it's just like shit crazy. I'm like, man, every time I went to jail, you feel me? I shot at that bitch. You got my mom. You got anybody? I'm still cool with security guards from DDC to this day. Like everybody know. Anytime I went in, I shot at I never. All my code of things. Like I went to jail with all my brothers. So everybody know. Me and Mookie, we've been in jail like three times together, three or two times. Like, why ain't rap? You feel me? So it's just like shit crazy. I'm like, damn, shit crazy. How shit play out. Like, homeboys hating on me. They want me and Mookie to be beef and shit like that. It's like crazy shit. Like, a whole lot of shit. You know, because at that time, YNR Mookie, you know, he was on the phone. One minute he was talking to you, then one minute he, he was saying other things. So it's still like a gray area. You know, what is it like now with y'all relationship? I mean, it looks great. He good. I, I, I still float when I love that nigga. Feel me? Is it like, I don't know, you know how niggas be? If some shit happen, I guess some nigga thought I told or whatever. Nigga say this, that, and the third, but nigga like never came to me. And like, paperwork never was like, paperwork don't lie. Paperwork never was like, how I take two years. And then we come to find out, we find out that they manage a whole police. So I'm like, damn. Like, what the fuck going on? Who leaked that that uh the statement? I don't know. Like it was it was one of my one of my home one of my little homeboys I was fucking with. He fought with Moogie. He was on some mad little hate and shit. I don't know. I don't even know where it was. But like why the fuck y'all ain't been posted? Like come on, man. What the fuck? No funny shit you, in that. Do you feel like that kind of hurt your career at the time? Because some artists who may wanted to get a feature with you, you know, because the whole six nine pop hunter thing. It's yeah. like nobody wants to be associated to somebody who might have told. Do you feel like that kind of hurt your career at that moment? Yeah, but not really, though, because I don't give a fuck because I know. Like, everybody know me, they know. Like, feel me? Anybody know me? They're like, damn, like, that shit crazy. Like, what they on? Like, some of Mookie Big Brothers calling me like, damn, what's up? What's up with them? Like, you feel me? Everybody know. Like, anybody know me, my cousin, everybody, female. Anybody in the city know, like, so they like, yeah, this shit crazy. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where this shit come from? One thing, I, one thing I applied about this situation was you didn't, people run from shit like that, you know? It's a lot of situations where people are accused of doing things and they get off the internet. You really, like, you didn't run from it. You really was on the internet, you know, expressing what really happened. You know, yeah. sometimes a lot of people, they... They run from the situation and it look fishy. Yeah, because everybody know the truth of the truth. Like, you feel me? I'm, I don't, I'm talking to movie sisters, mom, everybody just like, this shit crazy. I'm like, man, when he come home, he already know. Like, I'm going to make sure he's straight. Like, he's going to be lit. Okay. Them. It's just like hating ass niggas don't, you feel me? Hating ass niggas don't want to steal niggas' shine, steal niggas' win. Okay. What, what is Spottom Gotham's definition of, of snitching? Is, is making a statement snitching or is, it, you, you know, what, what's your, what's your real definition of snitching? Yeah, yeah. Making a statement is snitching, but like, 
any any anything you say, like the police try to write it down. That's why you gotta be like, what the fuck are you writing? Like you can't anybody, anybody know, like you do anything with the police. Don't say no wrong shit, they're gonna try to write it down. Like you feel me? Everybody already know. But then like the police, everybody was on some crazy shit. Like police was finna kill us that night. And plenty, plenty more times before that, police done beat a nigga up, put guns in a nigga face, like, feel me? They been had me label a gang member, question me about shootings in Duval, like all type of shit. Like, you feel me? I've been been on the radar, so crazy shit, like. It's a lot to it. Now, you got hella jewelry on right now. You know, I remember when I first met you, you probably had a little necklace on. You yeah, know, but a, now oh shit, man. Now you you got how much is how much is all that? Come on, like almost two hundred. I'd say like one one fifty, like one forty. One forty, okay. so one fifty. Okay. Like, like, I ain't go too crazy. Wh- which one which piece means the most to you? Uh shit. Really, all these bitches. But Thomas Street, you know, this is my hood street. This is where I grew up. So, like, you feel me? This is where I was raised at. This is where most of my people died at, like, on Thomas Street. Like, my cousin, both. Like, a lot of people that done died, done lived on Thomas Street. So, it's just, like, memories. Okay. And you got, is that two watches or is that a, a, a bracelet? Nah, that's a car. That's a bracelet. Man, you went all out. I remember you, that's... I remember starting out. That's the all the shit that you wearing right now. You wanted that shit. I swear to God, God. I'm like, man, I'm like, Sean, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go crazy. So people see you now when they think that this shit happened overnight. Little do people know, there were times where you wanted to quit. You wanted to quit rap. Hell yeah, it's, it's like. I done went through phases a lot of times where I wanted to quit rap. It's just like, when you rapping, that's just a phase you go through. Because everybody get frustrated at a point in time and like, get in their, you feel me? Get in their ways and say they don't want to rap no more. Yeah, because I remember there were times where, you know, shit was really slow and the money wasn't coming as fast as you wanted to come in. And, um... You was like, you was like, you was kind of like, you were like, Sean, I need a deal or I'm going back to the streets. Remember that? I swear to God. You was like, Sean, I need 50,000 or I'm going back to the trenches. I'm I'm like, my nigga, we going to get it. And the, I think maybe the two, three months after that, Beatbox came out. Well, all I needed was a little leverage, though. That's it. Like, I had to keep going. Like, one thing about me, though, I ain't never give up. I kept going. Like, you feel me? I kept going, kept pushing. Like, I'm like, oh yeah. So, are you done buying jewelry, or are you gonna wait till till your next hit to to you know keep going crazy? Nah, I, I really I can still go crazy. Like, you feel me? I'm just vibing. Like, this shit cool. Ain't really like, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get more jewelry. Get more jewelry, but this thing ain't really something that I really I'm really focused on. Right. What, what, when you get your next big bag, what's what's some things you plan on doing with it? I say investing. A lot of investment this year. I'm gonna go crazy in investing this year. I got I got a little a lot of love marketing and shit. I got up my sleeve. I'm gonna go crazy. Are there any um? I know this is off topic, but like rap rap chicks, you know Instagram models. I know they be all in your DM now. Uh. You know, are you hitting these? Are you hitting these rap chicks? These these Instagram models, or you got a girlfriend? <laughs> What's the situation like? You crazy? <laughs> nah. Well, yeah, I didn't had a little. I didn't had a little dealing with the <laughs> with a couple of these females. They crazy, but nah, I ain't, I ain't in a relationship or nothing like that. I'm single. Like it's, I'm, I'm still vibe. I'm still young. So like, I ain't, I'm still trying to have fun. Not too, man. Okay, no kids on the way or nothing like that? Nah, no kids. None of that. Okay. And what are you looking for in a girlfriend though? Like what's the perfect girl? She gotta be thick, she gotta be skinny, she can be <laughs> cook. What? What's the perfect girl? I ain't gonna lie. She just gotta look good. Be my type. Like, feel me? Know how to treat man. That's it. 
I regular shit. I need a fucking housewife. That's what I need. Cause it seemed like all you rap niggas, man, the whole industry, y'all fuck the <laughs> same fifty girls. He thought all you rap niggas. You rap niggas fuck the same. I swear to God, girls. Was, I swear to God, any look, any nigga with money though, like any nigga with money, like fucking the same hoes, like that's some shit that's always going on, like rapper taking other rappers hoes, like they bots, they bought it out, they be going. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you won't you do like a G Herbo or like a you know, won't you make a girl famous? Won't you do that? Won't you won't you get a girl lit? That's what real lie. bosses do. I ain't gonna lie, I've been thinking about popping out with my little with my little shit though, but I ain't I ain't really I was like, no, nah, no, nah, it's gonna go crazy. I might, I might though. Cause I'm getting I'm finna be twenty. <laughs> I'm finna I'm getting a little old. I'm finna be I'm gonna settle down. I've been staying nineteen years. Yeah. Oh man. So the rest of 2021, you know, 2022, what can we expect, man? Because I know you, man. You you have a you have a real bad temper. You don't like being told what to do. It's like Spot him got him likes doing Spot him got him when he likes doing it. You don't like being told what to do and you show, you never show up on time. So like how do you plan <laughs> on becoming a real rapper because you doing your thing now? But it's it's little things that you do that sometimes you be in your own way. Yeah, I'm already knowing, but like I've been, I've been, I've been changed that. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't like listening, but like some shit I be having to do, I don't want to do. So, yeah, I'm grown now, so like this shit different. I gotta, I've been adjust to. I just like certain shit. I just gotta do different. Right now on Instagram, you post a lot of cash. I remember you did some shit in the bathroom where money was everywhere. Money was everywhere, man, and and it went viral. A lot of people was posting that shit. Um, like, do you ever do you believe in having a a credit card? Like, do you do you believe in having a credit card or is cash? Nah, yeah, I, I I got a bank account. I got a good good ad bank, but. At, at that point, I didn't have a bank account. I was just walking around with cash. They would be telling me, like, stop doing that shit. But I didn't give a fuck. Like, I still go to the bank and just pull out cash. Because one day on somebody's on story, Instagram story, I think I see you. You was, like, in the trenches with, like, 100000 I'm like, what is this nigga doing? Hell, yeah. That's, that's the light shit popping out. I got my brothers with me. Feel I'm cool. Like, ain't nobody... People already, like, if you know, you know, so, like, feel me? Yeah. So, really, you was kind of getting used to the, you, you know, your, your big bag. It was like, yeah, I'm doing like, you know, I'm, I'm not really caring. Like, oh, yeah, this my bag. I got big, I'm lit, I'm out to it. Like, I ain't tripping. <laughs> I'm cool. Is there any, uh, what can we expect? Is there any, any, like, a new tape coming? Are you finally going to release, uh, you know the record a little older. What can we expect from Spot 'em Got 'em? I got a lot of, a lot of shit coming out, but this year it's gonna be like more consistent. Like once, once I drop this time, I'm not stopping. Like I'm going crazy. I got a, I got a new album finna come out. I got got a little older on that bit. I got Hurricane Wisdom on that bit. I'm gonna go crazy. I got a couple people I'm gonna introduce the industry to. Like I'm gonna go crazy. Okay. And the name Spot em, Got em. Where did that name come from? Your ass, really. Because really, <laughs> one day you was like, I said, I said it in the song. I was like, I spot his ass, got his ass. I said something like that. And you text me, you were like, you were like, why, why, you were like, why this ain't your name? I was like, I don't know. You were like, make that, make that your rap name. So I'm like, I thought about it. I'm like, man, I think it took me like an hour to think about it. I'm like, hell yeah, that's shit hard. Spot him, got him. I'm like, oh yeah, and I just ran with it from up. Cause I remember the the original name was Larik. And I was like, I was like, look at you, bro. Like you look interesting. The name has to be interesting. It has to match. Yeah, cause I was and just, you feel me? That was in my nickname, Reek. Rico. So I was just like, fuck it, Reek. I was just on I was still in church. I wasn't really like, you feel me? 
and I'm and I'm lucky your mom was there because your mom vouched for me. She was like, "Yeah, spot him, got him." Like, nigga, what is you doing, Larique? She was like, "Nah, nigga, spot him, got him." Wow. And yeah, your mom vouched uh, when we when we were there, so I think spot him, got him worked out perfectly, man. And you know, uh, you know, I'm excited about everything. I'm happy you up right now, and man, this was a great interview, man. So hey, we waiting on that little older though, man. That shit, you know, we waiting on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know it, man. A little crazy. <laughs> 